So we're currently heading to our first location, which is a Chinese in the heart of Soho. When you're thinking of Chinese in Soho, you're probably thinking of Chinatown. However, to me, there's not really many places that I'd like to eat in Chinatown. I think of it more as like a tourist destination. So what we've done is we've actually crossed the road. We're going to a place called Pleasant Lady. It's a small hole in the wall. If you're on a budget, you can get a wrap for about five to six pounds there. Grab the bubble tea on the way. Yifang, a great place. I'd highly recommend that. Can't wait to try it out. Let's go. Uh, we've got two different options. We've got one original veg which George has, and I've got the original veg plus chicken. They do have a pork option and a lamb one if you are feeling a little bit more adventurous. I think the first thing that's noticeable is like the textures. There's like really soft, nice outside wrap, and then straight away this kind of like hard, crunchy, fried dough type thing. And the balance is out really, really nice. Okay, let's talk about the most important thing, the money. So we came in at a total of 13 pounds. That's six pounds 50 per head. And I honestly think that's a great value for something made right before your very own eyes and just tastes amazing. The only thing I'd be worried about is if on your lunch break, there can be a little bit of a queue that builds up because it is made to order. So I guess we're gonna move on to our next spot, but we're feeling a little bit full, so we're gonna work up our hunger. And I think I know a great way to do that around server. Okay, so place number two is the Kati Roll Company. Now, if you're wondering what a Kati Roll is, if you go to India, they have Kati Rolls everywhere and they have a whole range of different types of fillings. So the two different things that we got were a beef one and a vegetarian one, which I think is potatoes and tomatoes. Um, I'm, personally, I'm not like the biggest connoisseur of Indian food. So I don't feel like I can like describe the intricate details or what flavors they actually are but it tastes great and there's a really nice like subtle heat to it. It's not overly spicy, it's a very likeable Indian flavour. It will be palatable to most people but still give you that authentic Indian flavour. The first thing which really stands out to me is the texture. Fried goods in the previous roll really helped to bring it up to like that next level. I mean I guess it's reflected in the price because I think we spent a total of £13.60 and let's not forget we actually got two wraps and a mango lassi. This is like a yogurt-based drink from India. These are bloody delicious, by the way. So if you like any sort of yogurt drink, definitely get one of these. Okay, so we're on our third location of the day, and you guessed it, it's fish and chips. Because we're in the UK, we have to do fish and chips. So in central London, lots of the places you're going to be going for fish and chips can cost around 12 pounds to 20 pounds, which to me is a bit on the pricey side. So we're going to be going to this place, which is way more affordable, and it's right by Waterloo, and it is Master's Superfish. Okay, as you heard, uh, we're not allowed to go in with the camera. So we're going to go incognito mode, aren't we, George? Oh, yes. We're sneaking in, come on. The menu additions. I can just stuck on things. That's pretty cool. So believe it or not, this is all complimentary with a main meal. Look at this. And the amount of sauce they give you. One meal between two. Okay, the main star, the main attraction is coming. This is crispy AF. These actually look like proper like fish and chip shop chips. Wow. Did you hear that? Yeah. So I can tell the skin is super crunchy. The meat is like really nice and flaky. The fish actually has flavor. It doesn't taste of just nothing. Yeah, it's like better try the fish. Savage, just with the hands. I think that's like, it's one of the best fish and chips I've I just think it's a great, like an excellent example of what a fish and chip should be. This is the pudding, isn't it? Yeah. Cleaned it out. So we gotta go to one more place. Okay, just realized we didn't actually talk about prices. So it turns out if you get cod and chips to take away, it's only six pounds 50. Like, so in the shop, it was 25. Yeah. If you're looking to save a few pounds and you don't mind, definitely go for the takeaway deal. The quality of that was not 6 pounds 50. No, that's a bargain. 
Okay, so we just left our fourth and final destination. It's a place called Lebo. Lebo stands for Lebanese Grill. But listen, it's not just any old like Lebanese Grill. This place is special. We've been going there for a long time. We sussed out the menu. The two things are half a boneless chicken with spicy rice and six flat wings with chips. Both of the meals together, I think, came to 12 pounds. So this place is an absolute bargain. Okay, so I have to actually eat this. I'm quite hungry. The wings look delicious. Like, the char on them is so amazing. Yeah, yeah I mean, to me, I think the standout point about Lebo is the difference from crunchy outside to super juicy succulent inside. Damn, that flavor. It's so good. Charcoal flavor on the skin. There's a really nice marinade going on. Mm -hmm. It's not too strong. Okay, let's try the chips or fries. Bit soggy. It's just a humble, humble cheap fry. Yeah. You know? mm. Let's go for the half chicken. Still the same grill flavor. I would say perhaps the meat isn't as juicy as the wings, mm. but highly convenient because the half chicken is boneless. I think Lebo is more than just the chicken though. The Lebo is about the whole experience of going yeah. there late at night, you know? Yeah. You're hungry, you're drunk or whatever it is. You get there, you see the hallowed lights of Lebo. Yeah. You walk into the shop, you know the guy behind the grill is good because you've seen them there a hundred times before yeah. doing the same thing. So you know you can trust them. <laughs> if you go in and order the wings, they're always cooked fresh and they take like 10 to 15 minutes. They do. They and well. you sit, you stand there in this insanely narrow corridor of people mm -hmm. waiting for that to be cooked and you're staring at it the whole time, just watching it like bubble away. And I think there's nothing better when you're drunk. Okay, so we've now come to the end of the road. We've eaten all the food. I'm pretty done. What was your favorite? If you had to twist my arm and make me choose one, I probably would say Pleasant Lady, which was the first place we went to. I think for the price point, it's interesting food, it's central, it's super delicious, readily available. What sounds like? Pleasant Lady was definitely the most interesting and unusual. I think Labo is the one that I would keep going back to. And I mean, it's the one that I do keep going back to. And I think for 375 to for just wings, this also comes in as the cheapest. Let us know if we missed out on any good cheap eats in London. Maybe you've got a good recommendation. We'd love to hear it down in the comments below. We're pretty tired and we're pretty full, so feeling sleepy.